destiny. But Aloy was having fun with him. You, it's but Carl, Carlos has his game face on, yeah. and he he knows no other way. Intra squad game, batting practice, bullpen, whatever you want to call it, game face. Carlos Rodon. I'm not surprised. Hard Carl. Yeah. As he goes by. Through the left side, a base knock for Yasmani Grandal. <laughs> and Rodon is barking to at Carlos Rodon. Rodon. And this is the, the psychological understanding of his pitchers for James McCann is top notch. And he and Grandal together provide a lot of resources, I would say, oh, yeah. for a pitching staff. For a pitching staff, we're also talking about this offense. And when Grandal's not catching, you got James McCann, who made the All Star team, as the backup. So they've got options there. But both of them, Grandal and McCann, are great communicators, great leaders, with all sorts of wisdom that they've been sharing with the pitchers as McCann goes out to talk to Rodana. I guess settle him down on a 2-0 count. You know, I was talking about that pitch that, remember a couple innings ago, I said it looked kind of like a changeup, but it also might have been like a different kind of slider for Carlos Rodon. Uh, Everett Tiford, who's been a quality control coach with the Sox and a pitcher who grew up in the Royals organization, taught Carlos Rodon a new breaking pitch. It's, it's sort of a... a, a Curveball. It's a slower breaking ball that Carlos hasn't had in his repertoire. He always had that wipeout slider, but that pitch, that was the curveball that he had thrown. That's something new for Carlos this year. I think that was it right there. Yeah. And he's facing a catcher in Grandal who knows how catchers think. Knows how pitchers think, so there's some of the gamesmanship going on here, even in injury. Over a fastball. Did you just see what Grandal just did? It's like, yep, yep, that's yeah, that's what you were doing there. Okay, all right. Let's see what he gets on three and one. <laughs> Not it again, and. You know, Grandal's going to work with Rodon, too. So he, Grandal wants Rodon to be pitching well. That's right. So he's acknowledging, okay, that's good. I've had so many notes from fans today saying, who do we root for? <laughs> I'm getting that, too. Yeah. You just, I, I don't have the full answer. See, there it is. That's a slow breaking ball, you and he struck that. him out. Yep. You want that. That. There. Really? Is, is Lopez really thinking that Aloy Jimenez is going to steal on him? Apparently. Well, Aloy's been, I mean, he's been cutting a rug during these summer camp games. He's been dancing like nobody's business, so you might as well use the footwork for some progress. You know what? He got a triple the other day. Mm -hmm. He's all of a sudden thinking, hey, I'm finding my inner Ricky Henderson. I got some speed. Crushed down the line and foul right side. Red knit. Fly ball right field. Basabe back at the track at the wall. It is up and out of here. Yasmani Grandal goes into the... Right field stands for a two-run shot. And this home team has four home runs tonight. And Yasmani Grandal is almost going to catch up to Aloy Jimenez, rounding the bases. That was a fastball right down the middle, a mistake by Lopez. And it was way back there for Grandal, over the head of Basabe. So Yasmani Grandal hits the fourth.